as we all know, Andrew Schultz has been getting his ass dragged all over the internet after he gave some type of rebuttal response to Kendrick Lamar for he ain't even mentioned him on the on the GNX album, but more of like, but the whole line of white comedians should not be speaking on black women at all. I don't think he could stop most people on the planet from having sex with him. <laughs> like, the only reason he got security is to stop people from having sex with him whenever he wants. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, there's people who can fuck me against my will. I was in an elevator once with this drag queen, and this motherfucker was like 6'5". Oh, yeah, yeah, and we're yeah, in yeah. the elevator, and we're going down, I'm like, yo, if he wanted to take it, yeah, yeah. I gotta cause a ruckus or something like that. Like, yeah. I gotta yeah. my with pants, I gotta do something. Yeah. I know for with Kendrick that he he's talking a lot of shit, <laughs> but if it came down to it, I could put him on my lap. I could feed him a bottle. I could put him on my lap. I could feed him a bottle and make love to him if I wanted to. And there's nothing he could do about it. I might not be hard. Dick might just slap soft against his butt. Dig your damn pardon. Did I see the camera? It's a camera and a murder. And the reaction to this whole thing has been quite interesting. Now, we we know that people will try to say, oh, well, he's a comedian. He ought to be able to get away with this. But this comes to show why comedians should not have a podcast. Not everybody needs a podcast. I think the only podcast comedians should be doing is the stand up that they do on stage in front of a live audience. Because when you're doing a podcast, how are people going to differentiate between you being serious and you just making a joke about it? Like basically this whole thing was one big old great joke. And somebody even posted a clip of what Cat Williams said from that iconic Shannon Sharp interview. And rape is never funny, no matter who it happens to or what the circumstances are. And of course you do see his co-host laughing, taking all this in stride. And of course they would because they get paid to. Now keep in mind, there is a lot of people who don't know who Andrew Schultz is. And there is other people that would not know who he is if it wasn't for Charlemagne who kind of gave him a brief introduction or gives him an ongoing brief introduction thanks to his podcast, Brilliant Idiots. Now do I think that he really meant some of the stuff he said? I don't know. I can't really tell. And really, I don't watch his content all that much. But all this comes to show is sometimes Hit Dog was going to holler. And he could have just, you know, laughed it off and tried to make a different type of funny joke with it and just went on from there. And, we, and he wouldn't even be in the pickle that he's in right now. And crazy enough, this whole thing reignited the whole conversation of the black wife effect trend that was popping on TikTok where a white guy would be, you know, looking like a surfer dude one minute or a hipster he just switches up everything about himself which as a white guy if you want to you know get a different look for yourself that's fine just do it when you're single but if you wait until a woman comes in your life and says hey you need to change this this and this about you and you do it anyway i kind of look at you differently as a man my like, hell just look at me on the screen right here back when i was in school i had hair down to my shoulders and i didn't have a beard the only reason why i decided to grow a beard out is because as men, we all know there's this little thing under our chin that'll make us look like a damn turkey. And I got the big chop of my sunshine here because it was very high maintenance and I just, you know, got tired of it. So I just went for a little shorter approach. But I did all that while I was single and I didn't let nobody come into my life saying, hey, you got to do this, this and this. It would be like me dating a white girl and she told me, hey, you need to talk white. You need to walk differently or you need to change your posture or some other shit like that. If Becky can't take what comes with it, then bye. And in general, I do think it's wrong for any woman to change anything about a man, specifically how he walks, talks, and dresses. And it's even worse when the man just lets the change happen because at that point, she runs you. But all in all, I do think that this be one of the things that blows over in a few days, give or take. Um, but let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below. Till next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.